but also I don't think I've cried this much. It's been a very long time. <laughs> uh, starting at almost being denied at the gate, entry to this beautiful land, to um, the the little girl's orphanage. Mm -hmm. I think that just did it for me. That's so good. <laughs> right there. And um, I've been so full ever since, just since getting here. I've been, Africa's been, Ghana in particular, has just been on my heart for several years. Um, it was a seed planted by my, my pastor, Dr. Barbara, and um, who was one of the chiefs somewhere up in this region. I've seen that so. Yeah. And I was like, Africa, Ghana? You know, because before, you know, you saw Nigeria, South Africa, Ethiopia, you know, the main ones. I, Ghana and she was so passionate about it and was sharing her experience and everything with the congregation and saying everyone just go you know and the people is still developing but the people are so loving and da 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 and there's so much that we can do so she just kind of lit a fire in all of us and piqued my curiosity on it and I was like well shoot all right let me give it a try have been trying to go with the church got my money up didn't happen. Go, go. All right, we're going to keep it going. <laughs> Trying another year. Didn't happen. Didn't have enough people to meet the minimum quota, whatever. I was like, man, I'm getting to Africa. So I met another lady who's a friend of Miss Sharon at church because one Sunday I had worn my red, gold, and green. I was just kind of feeling Pan African or something that day. And she said, oh my gosh, she was like, where did you get your dress? Um, I'm going to Ghana in May and I need this for a ceremony. I was like, oh my God, I was like, you going to Ghana? I was like, who are you going with? Right? I was like, I've been trying to get with the church, but you know, they couldn't get the quota up. So, you know, enough people couldn't go and we hadn't been able to go. So she told me about Bomani. She's like, Africa for the, I was like, Africa for the Africans. I was like, well, we, I was like, well, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we need to go back home too. Africa for the Africans, that sounds cool. So I just started looking him up. She gave me his email and Brother Bamani was on it. He was professional because the first, you know, you're leery about giving your money to somebody you don't know. And anywho, divine order led me to Bamani and uh, I had uh, <laughs> been wanting to go to, I think I missed two years of going because I wouldn't, let go of business first. Being in real estate, you know, you don't get that deal closed, you don't eat. So, I think for, for two years, you know, he was like, Sister Kelly, you come. I was like, I'm, I'm coming. I was like, I, I got too many deals or whatever on the table right now, and I got things I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm gonna make it next year, right? Or I'll make it in November. Then that time would come, he's like, Sister Kelly, you ready? I'm like, so now I can't get away just yet, not for two weeks, you know? Yeah, I, I couldn't unplug for two weeks. So really? finally, oh my gosh, my homegirl, she said, Kelly just set the intention because just something about wanting to get home had just been growing. And I was like, I got to go, I got to go. She's like, girl, just make a commitment, go. Nonetheless, I did. So over my money, boom, what's my balance here? I'm going on that plane right. in May, right? Okay. So made a conscious decision, made it happen. It was all divine order because now I am at the point where I can, I was able to leave Atlanta, leave all of that. Be free, not be controlled by this phone, because my office, my phone is my office. And to not have Wi-Fi, honestly, has been <laughs> the best thing, because I've, I don't even miss work. I don't, I miss my mom, my daughter, but I don't miss anything. I've totally been engulfed in this moment, in this trip, and I am, forever changed. I'm not going back to Atlanta the same. So with that being said, before I got into real estate, I was like, Amy, I was just all right brain, right? I was just music and dance. My degree was music business, doing studio work, recording school, doing production. I do my own beats at the house. So that's the side that really nobody knows about me except wow. like my real close, 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 you know, friends. Um, because, you know, after being a single mom and everything, it's all about the grind. So having to, you know, get a career going and to support, you know, a little person that kind of choked the, the creative side of me. But I would always 
when I wasn't dog tired at the end of the night, I'd always like get a little inspiration and go down to my basement, to the studio and just create something. And I was led one night about three years ago. It was after we had already had the Trayvon thing. Mm -hmm. We had the Sandra Brown thing. Mm -hmm. I think the Mike Brown was the star that brought the cameras back, right? And I was just like, doggone it. I'm tired. I'm tired of all this. We need to wake up. We need to do something. And, you know, and I was like, we need to wake up to who we are. So it was just something in me. The Lord led me down to my car at about one in the morning. And this piece was born, right? It took maybe about four hours. I would start with writing. And I get a little tired. I'm like, oh my God, man, it's two o'clock. I need to go to bed. I couldn't go to bed. Nonetheless, the piece finally got done about 4 a.m. And uh, this is it. Okay. okay. So in addition to doing doing tracks or whatever, I used to do inspirational hip hop and poetry. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, and, yes. And, and albums, oh, my shows and all. Yeah. <laughs> I missed that side. And that was part of my hunt, my drive yeah. Yeah. to succeed in real estate was to free myself up financially to just be able to do my music. Yeah. And so kicking it with Brother Roz last night. That that resurfaced the old desire that I had, an old goal of mine was I always wanted like my own record label. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I always loved working with raw talent. Yeah. I didn't even know you did poetry like that. Hey, uh, hey you got uh, down, hey, sister. Uh, yeah. And we've been friends for a minute. Yeah. yeah. But we've always had our little salsa coming yeah. around and all that, yeah. doing salsa dances. But anywho, so uh, I had an epiphany last night. I was like, yeah, one of my things come back here in addition, just you know, to the real estate is here. I want to help Brother Roz and all the brothers that he was, you know, yeah, his community yeah. to just to give them an outlet. Thank you. You know, they're just now understanding about social media. He got, uh -huh. he was telling me he just set up a little Facebook page, and I was like, dude, you got to go Instagram, and then just let them know the power of social media to get their message out because they just want to. They have so much to say to the world, yes, and you. oh, thank it just touched you. me so. He and I had a little cipher, and I shared this piece. <laughs> he spit a piece, so we were both just like kindred at that time. Oh, good. So, here's my piece. Um, I think it was called Rise and Remember. I just kind of gave it a piece, it, you know, gave it a title. A little bit of water. Water? Yes. Yes. Water, please. No, mine. Right here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, my dear. Least I can do. Mm. Mm. Yes. Oh, cool. All right. Black man, black woman, remember who you are. Take your rightful place, you're a shining star. Allow no more of your blackness to be diminished, but augment yourselves to restore and replenish. Time is a wasting, so waste no more time. Just listen to your heart and then get on your grind. The universe will give you everything you need. Just take the first step of faith and plant the seed in the fertile soil of your heart's desire. The God in you is guaranteed to take it higher. Remember that we come from powerful kings and queens, the originators of all things human beings need, like... Science, mathematics, religion, laws, communities, mind-blowing architecture, universities still standing today after thousands of centuries. That is why we are feared and our power is envied by those who run the world, the elite of society, Aristotle, Plato, Socrates were the original thieves of what God himself bestowed to you and me. We have a duty not to waste this treasure through mediocrity, beginning with the restoration of the black family, the cornerstone of our community, raise the union. Yeah, we got some serious issues. The result of diabolical seeds sown deep in our tissue, but that is not an excuse to continue as victims of systematic abuse. Reach down and lift up the youth and teach them the truth so they can righteously choose and let love guide their shoes. Their gifts are ammunition they'll no longer misuse. Right, buddy? <laughs> hey, heart and mind. Come on.
Their heart and minds were like the fuse of their inner jewels, so they refused to continue being the system's food, ah. so they can keep running the race at a steady pace to restore and elevate our race back to its rightful place. It's time to take a stand. No more in between. Rise to your throne as high command, black king, black queen. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, my beautiful new extended family. Oh. Oh. Yes. 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 So here's what I'm gonna say to you guys. We might go to some territories where the nightlife is not as hectic as it was in Accra. Mm. But we gonna create our own party, right? Hey. We got some poets, we got some singers, yeah. we got a lot of people who can dance and who like to dance. So we gonna have a party as we continue. Right. One more time for Kelly. Anybody has any questions oh, yeah. for Kelly? I'm laughing. I got, I got one, I got one, I got one. Oh, Sass has a question. It's really a, a because see, here's the thing. I want to thank Kelly. See, here's the thing about the shedding of tears, and I just wanted to take the moment to acknowledge uh, Kelly being authentic. See, the the crying is is a healing. Yes. Uh huh. And the suppression of tears is unnatural like uh, the suppression of anything that's natural is you understand so i love how you shared your tears and told your story and then you spit that around my sister i'm like i want to be like you when i grow up awesome. you know the tears are just it's it's, a, it's hard back home you know what i mean it's just what we have to go through and after seeing here how like they pretty much have nothing yo but they're so Come rich on. and free oh, girl, don't you know and it just really, it was good to take a step back uh -huh. out of America and look at yeah, it and exactly. like we, the stress that I go through, that we women go through, that, the disrespect from our brothers. I have not been treated Come on. this good Tell by me. a brother, Tell I don't me. think ever. Yes. Since uh, until I've been in the motherland, I can believe it. And to to feel revered and, and honored, honor, yeah, honor. man. Yeah. Well, it's the, it's I'm like, natural. yo, man, I don't want to go back. But we got work to do. We got to bring. We got to wake all the brothers and sisters up and uh, come home in and save uh -huh. Eden. Thank you. Hey, you got, you got more rams like that? I do. Bunch of them. I, I, I got a few. I, 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 like, I like to get with you and take a few lessons. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need some investors. We are going to release uh, Africa for the African CD number one. Right. Yeah. And then maybe it can be a thing on the tour, right? Well, I listen to other music when we have music for people from the tour. All right, one more time for Kelly. Thank you so much, Queen. Yeah, Kelly Ross. Kelly Ross. Yeah. We're so glad you're with us. All right, so I know one of my strong black brothers. Hey. 